What's up guys, Grim Tutor, Blightsteel Colossus, and Terror of the Peaks are this month's Patreon rewards. We've also incorporated brand new tiers for those of you who'd like to get your hands on some of our awesome previous proxies very, very quickly. To support our channel and sign up for the tier that best suits you, check out our Patreon at patreon.com slash it resolves. What's going on guys? Welcome to another gameplay video. Before we jump into this one, uh, I, I just want to mention, I know that I mentioned uh, at the end of last week in the jumpstart videos that we were going to try and stream this weekend. I apologize. I know we didn't actually get to do that. Uh, that is completely my bad, but uh, we did actually uh, do a lot of planning for the next kind of series with the JDC uh, and where we want to take that. And so, uh, unfortunately, a lot of this weekend was spent kind of planning for that and getting the infrastructure set up so we can really, really make that happen. I'm really excited about that because there's a lot of new stuff that we're going to be bringing to the table, hopefully. Uh, but there's obviously a lot of moving pieces as well. And so that that unfortunately takes a lot of our time. And so uh, I do apologize. I was hoping to get some streams up and uh, even just some videos up. And I kind of kind of fell by the wayside. Um, I also want to mention uh, just just really, really quickly, uh, Thursday through Sunday, I will be gone. I am going on a short vacation with my family uh, and therefore will not be able to record videos. I'm not going to worry about videos during that time. Uh, I'm, I'm going to enjoy my vacation uh, because I think I think it's very clear that I need it sometimes. <laughs> and so uh, I'm definitely going to enjoy that. Uh, and so just a heads up, we won't be having videos through that time period. Now, Monday, of course, we'll be back up again. Uh, and this week, of course, through Wednesday, we'll, we'll do our best here. So uh, anyway... All that to say, today we are checking out Mono White Life Gain. Uh, this deck has been around for quite a while in Standard, but we continuously get new cards for it, so we're going to test them out today. Uh, specifically, one of the biggest new cards is Speaker of the Heavens. So, uh, a 1-1 one, one for 1 Vigilance and Lifelink. Already pretty good, honestly. Uh, but, tap it, create a 4-4 four, four White Angel Creature token with flying. Activate this ability only if you have at least 7 more life than your starting life total. And you can only do that as a sorcery. So uh, the idea here, gain a bunch of life, be able to spit out a bunch of angels, and then take over the game very, very quickly. Now, we've got a couple other interesting cards in this. Uh, Selfless Savior is another new card. So it's a 1-1 one, one for 1. Does not have lifelink, but uh, another you can sacrifice it, and another target creature gains indestructible until the end of the turn. Now, this just gives you uh, a little bit of uh, protection in certain circumstances. That can be really, really helpful. And it's essentially a few extra copies of Alcyon of Life's Bounty. Uh, however, the where where this does have lifelink and this does not, this also doesn't cost mana while this does. Uh, and so you're we're kind of doing a three and three split here to kind of even out our chances. Uh, and I, I'm interested to try this. I think this is a really interesting card. I love the art also. It's beautiful. Uh, we also have two Light of Hope, uh, which is a really interesting card, but I think one that does pretty well right now in standard. Uh, instant one mana, choose one. You gain four life, destroy target enchantment, or put a one one counter on target creature. Uh, it's a very flexible card, and normally I wouldn't love cards like this, uh, because, you know, they're kind of not do-nothing cards by any means, but, uh, you, you don't necessarily expect to have the best luck in what you're trying to do with them. However, the worst mode on this card, in my opinion at least, is you gain four life, and in this deck, that kind of becomes its best mode. Uh, and so what's really nice about this, uh, is essentially it's either a gain life, or you're gonna get lucky and be able to kill an enchantment, or you can use it as a combat trick and kind of kill off one of your opponent's things, especially in tandem with like a selfless savior. You know, pump up one of these guys, make it indestructible, and then kill something if you need to. Uh, that's certainly not ideal, but uh, you certainly can. Uh, two Healer's Hawk, of course, is an evasive threat that has lifelink, uh, so we can get in there for a little bit of damage and hopefully um, uh, raise our own life total a little bit. Uh, it would not be a life gain deck if a Johnny's Pride Mate was not in it. We have the full four. This is a pretty straightforward card. It just gains uh, every time you gain life, you get a bunch of 1-1 one -one counters, uh, which is exactly what you want. So this is a great card. Uh, Glass Casket, a little bit of interaction. Normally we don't see these decks have too much interaction. They're more, uh, not goldfishy 100%, but kind of close. Um, Glass Casket just gives you a way to deal with early game stuff. Uh, there, there are a lot of, uh, of, of early aggro decks right now. Glass Casket, really, really helpful. I'm, in my opinion, there's a lot of creatures that it can hit, uh, and so it's definitely worth having. 
Uh, Daxos, of course, is in here as a full four of. Uh, this is just a great way to gain a bunch of life repeatedly. Anytime you play a creature or a creature dies, uh, therefore, you know, anytime we sacrifice one of these guys, we can gain some life. We can also just, you know, uh, hopefully pump up the pride mate here. Uh, in the four, three drop slot, excuse me, I immediately saw Heliod and thought four, and it's definitely a three drop. Uh, we do have Heliod, uh, as a four of, this is a great way to also gain a little bit of life, hopefully, and then also pump up the team. Uh, not to mention, if you do have enough things out, this just animates itself and becomes amazing. Uh, Linden is a three of, another life gain opportunity, so anytime you attack with creatures, you gain a life, and it does have vigilance. Uh, and then Lurus of the Dream Den as a two of, not as a companion, uh, which I think is the correct call. Um, <laughs> this allows you to essentially just replay a bunch of stuff, uh, which is really, really cool. You can kind of get into a cycle where uh, you sacrifice a selfless savior or an Alciad, make something uh, either indestructible or give it protection, uh, and then bring it back with Lurus the next turn to provide that opportunity again. So there's actually some really, really awesome recursion that you can do here. Uh, and what Lurus means is in the early uh, turns of the game, you shouldn't necessarily be quite as afraid uh, to trade some of your things off. Now, obviously, that's not the goal, but uh, if need be, that's what we can do. And then hopefully Lurus lets us bring them back later. Uh, we do have two Ajani Strength of the Pride, obviously spitting out more Ajani's Pride Mates, essentially, but uh, it also just gains some life. And then, of course, if we can uh, zero it, uh, it's actually very, very good. So there is that possibility. Uh, and then we, of course, have 24 lands for Ardenvale, and then very simply 20 planes. So that is the deck. Uh, pretty straightforward. Um, uh, it, it's... It falls in line exactly with a lot of the other mono white decks. However, what I like about this version is uh, it has a little bit more interaction. And I think that's going to kind of, uh, I like to think at least, uh, that gives it a better game plan against quite a number of other things. So we'll see. Uh, I, I think that this is going to be an interesting one. I, I really like mono white life gain just as an archetype. Uh, generally speaking, I think it's decent. Uh, and especially within the last few standard environments, it's actually been quite good. Uh, but it's nice to see it uh, kind of evolving with new cards coming out, especially from Corset 2021. So let's see what we can do. Uh, see what the opponent is on here. Uh, it's good to be recording again, by the way. I know I, I don't normally record too much on the weekends, um, but uh, I, I, I like to. I just don't ever really... I don't get the chance. I mean, I, I unfortunately just have a lot of things going on with work and then, of course, with family and uh, fiancé and all that stuff. And so... Uh, planning a wedding, um, all kinds of stuff. So uh, unfortunately, I don't always have time, but uh, it is great to, to sit down and record a little bit here. Uh, this is a decent hand. We we definitely want a land or two here uh, long term, but this gives us a nice little one, two. We can we can play Luris if we'd like to, uh, or Linden, most likely Linden, depending on what they're doing. Um, also, I, I mentioned the JDC at the start of this video and that we have done a lot of planning for that. We really have done a lot of planning and infrastructure for that, um, and I could not be more excited. Uh, the JDC, it's it's kind of my baby. It's got a little bit of a special place for me. Um, I don't know, like, I, I hope that it will be something really, really good. I, I like to think that now it's something really, really good, but we want to introduce a little bit of a bigger element to it. Uh, and so I, I firmly believe that we can get there, um, but it certainly is going to take a lot of work and a lot of effort from not just us, but I think a lot of other uh, content creators, which is going to be really, really fun. But that's scary for me. I'm not going to lie. I, uh, I don't do very well uh, with relinquishing control, we'll say. Uh, and not that this really requires me to do too much of that, but it does require me to... Um, uh, rely on some other people. Um, and so what I will, what I'm going to ask of you guys, uh, for anybody watching, uh, is that if you know of a YouTube content creator, uh, kind of around our level, um, you know, 4,000 subs, roughly something like that. Uh, we've got a short list again, that was part of our job this weekend was to find some of that, but, uh, we've got a short list of individuals that we've been looking at, uh, but we want to get them involved. Uh, and so if you could, uh, please name drop some channels down below that you really enjoy that are probably close to our range. Uh, that way there's a better likelihood that they'll participate. Um, we'd love to see, uh, not only is this just good for like community engagement, I'd love to get to know other YouTube channels, but 
uh, it also provides us an opportunity to, to get a list together for um, what we're trying to do. So if you do not mind, that would be very much appreciated. Um, and of course, we'll, we'll be working with um, quite a lot of people on this. So this is going to be really, really fun, I think. Uh, let's attack in, see what they do. All right. Uh, we get to spit out an angel here, which is great. Um, and we pass. Uh, I'm not going to play Luris. Uh, also, no point, obviously, in playing Linden. Uh, we do have Light of Hope up here, so if we need to, um, you know, do something here, we certainly can. Uh, yeah, that's fine. They just sacrifice this. They're really not doing a ton. Granted, we're not, like, doing amazing. We're gaining our life, which is exactly what we need to do, but uh, that's pretty good. Let's do this. Okay, they just gave up. I guess they just didn't have anything. I don't really know. They weren't able to play anything, uh it seems like other than Uros, so I'm guessing that they just ran out, um, which is unfortunate on the opponent's end, but we had a great curve there, uh, to be honest. Uh, let's jump into game two. Uh, also, just want to mention on the JDC front, the last episode for this little short season, uh, this kind of season two, I guess you could say, uh, is to, uh, we'll, we'll be recording it tomorrow. It'll be going up on Wednesday. So if you would like to get your deck suggestions in, please do. Uh, you can do that in the Discord channel. We've got a, uh, a, a specific channel set up for deck suggestions for the JDC. Uh, the, the theme uh, is Artifacts versus Enchantments, and I think we're going to play this episode up just a little bit more than we normally do and actually play a few of the decks. Uh, we've gotten a lot of submissions, so first of all, thank you everybody that has. Uh, our normal culprits, of course, are, are to blame there, but uh, we've got quite a lot of, uh, of engagement there, which is really great. Um, so please do uh, leave a deck suggestion down below uh, or in that channel, and we'd certainly appreciate it. Uh, let's go ahead and attack. Chances are they've got a shock here, something along those lines. That's just my guess. I also completely forgot that I have coffee right here. Oh, I love my coffee. Here's a question. How do you drink your coffee? That's super random, but how do you drink your coffee? Do you like it black? Do you like it cream sugar? Do you like fancy stuff? Do you, are you just like a Starbucks person? Whatever you do, let me know. I drink it black. hey -o. it's good stuff. Ah, so tasty. I'm also a scotch drinker. I just drink a lot. Um, <laughs> that's not true. Uh, let's jump. Uh, hmm. Do I do this or do we want to Linden? I think we'll do this. Uh, as much as I really like Linden and we would gain a little bit more life there, I think getting Heliod down now is actually not bad just because it's such a strong card in general. Um, hmm. Well, that's very good. Yeah. Don't like that. Um, this also keeps uh, Daxos out of shock range a little bit easier. Uh, chances are they take a Johnny here, I think. Um, yeah. Okay. That just makes the most sense. Um, but this gets um, Daxos out of shock range. Granted, they can have plenty of other things, but um, let's go ahead and get this out there. That activates this, obviously. Let's put a 1-1 one, one counter on Daxos. Gain a bunch of life. Um, I'm going to put the counter on Linden, I think. Uh, and then another here on Daxos. I'm not, like, counting this by any means, but let's just get... There we go. All right. That's pretty good. Heliod is, like, super good. It's kind of stupid. Um, especially with Linden out, you just get some crazy, crazy good plays. Um, it's also just indestructible. Uh, it's indestructible, bro. It's not how that works. Uh, I don't think they know what they're doing. Yeah, okay. That was just a huge misplay. <laughs> uh, they could have hit so many other things. Why did they hit... I mean, Heliod's very good, so I, I get the temptation, but it doesn't work. 
I think we're getting easy matchups. We're softballing it this morning. All right, let's get into our third game here. Uh, we'll, of course, jump into a second video, so we will get a few more games in with this one and just see how, it's, how it does overall. Uh, but so far, so good. I'm really liking it. Uh, nothing too outside the norm. Uh, I'm really liking Speaker here, to be honest. Um, do we keep this? Yeah, I think we do. It's a little land heavy, uh, but we've got a nice little 1-2 here. So assuming the Speaker doesn't die immediately, we're kind of in decent shape. Um, green, black, huh? Ooh, Daxos. That's also quite good. Uh, let's go ahead and get Speaker down. Uh, no idea what the opponent's going to be on here. Okay. Interesting. Um, let's do that. We'll put Daxos down then, since we'll not be attacking with Speaker this turn. Um, this just sets us up a lot better for the Primate next turn, if we'd like. Uh, along with a Light of Hope, of course. Ah, tasty. Tasty, tasty. Abzan. Very cool. Probably just a mid-range deck. It's totally fine by me. Nice. It's pretty good. Yeah, dude, you got it. Uh, no blocks. That's fine. We'll take two. Let's do this, and let's pride bait. Uh, next turn, we've got a Johnny Strength of the Pride coming in, and we get to leave up a Light of Hope here, so that feels pretty good. Um, not going to attack just on the off chance that we have the opportunity to block, but most likely won't need it. Questing Beast. Yes, very good. Okay. For sure. Uh... Hmm. 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 I'm going to be a bit aggressive here. Uh, again, I'm making this play mostly because I know we have Luris in the deck. Um, and eventually that just becomes a big problem. So, like, we kind of have to deal with it at some point there. Uh, now, we can Glass Casket, uh, which I kind of like the idea of doing. Let's do this. Let's get this Fiend Artisan out of here. Uh, that's just a problematic card in general, so I'd rather get rid of that um, and then hopefully set up for a Johnny next turn, uh, but we'll see. We will see. Oh, they just have another. Well, that's fine. Uh, okay. Let's do this. And we'll minus two. Gain a life. Get a 3-3 three, three out of it. Uh... Hmm. We'll attack in. That's fine. It's not great, but it's fine. Uh, probably wasn't the safest play, because if they do have another questing beast, but, like, eh, it is what it is. Yeah, for sure. It's pretty good. Pretty good, pretty good. Uh, let's do this. Uh, let's see. I think we'll pass here. Um, don't know if this is even really going to live, but they're going to probably have to deal with this first, which just means that, you know, we have another Daxos coming down. Huh. Let's do that. There we go. Uh, and yes, I will happily do this, um, <clears throat> especially since we do have another Daxos here. So land, whoops, let's get Daxos down. Uh, we'll gain some life. I want to keep this Ajani around. Um, we've kind of been one for wanting a lot of their stuff. Anything that we can do to keep it on the field is going to be probably useful. Um, I think that that Light of Hope is like proving to be a pretty awesome play, though. Uh, all right, so if we're going to do this in the correct order... Uh, we do this first. We would then do this, so that way we get an extra counter here. Uh, and then we attack in. I do think it's correct to attack here, but um, eventually we are going to run into some just really good removal on the opponent's side, so uh, that will be a problem. Uh, let's do this. Uh, if you... Hmm, I don't know that that's worth it right now. Let's do this. All right, uh, let's get in there with this. And I think that's it. 
this is a great little aggressive card in these situations, so I'm very happy to have it. Uh, eventually, we'll start attacking with the Pride Mate here. Um, sure. They get to destroy target artifact if they want, which makes sense. Um... I can protect it with the Alciad here. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I can't. It's an artifact. That was a mistake. I thought it was an enchantment. Uh, that was my bad. That's fine, though. Obviously don't love that, but, like, it is what it is. It's actually not a bad card here because we can start just spitting those guys out, uh, which I'm very happy with. Uh... Let's go ahead and exile their stuff. Now's a great time to do it, because it's a four for one. <laughs> and there we go. All right. Awesome. So, so far, uh, Bono White Life Gain kicking some butt, guys. Holy crap. Uh, really, really happy with this deck so far. Um, I'm liking the new cards. Life Light of Hope uh, is actually really good. Uh, I'm, I'm really, really liking it. Uh, Speaker of the Heavens as well. We only really got to see it do its thing, but it did kind of sure up a game for us, so I'm very happy about that. Uh, wow, all, all around, this is great. I like the interaction as well with Glass Casket. I think there it, it stalled more than anything, but I think that that was enough. So really happy to play with this one again. We'll, uh, we'll hopefully get another three wins. Maybe we can 6-0 with this deck. Uh, be very happy with that. But thank you guys so much for watching. Do stay tuned. Uh, we will have a JDC kind of update video once we've got all these kind of pieces solidified. Uh, I know I'm talking a lot about that in this video, but obviously that's on the mind. That's what we've been planning all weekend. So uh, we're working on it and I'm really, really excited for it. I hope that you guys are. Uh, and again, if you do have any YouTube channels or suggestions for YouTube channels that are down below, uh, if you've even got one yourself and want to participate, please submit uh, your or, or let us know down below. Uh, we will have a more formal way of submitting later on, but we want to be able to check any channels out now uh, just to verify that they're there and that they want to participate. And then that way we can kind of solidify things later on. So thank you guys so much. I uh, really do appreciate you watching and I'll see you very soon for part two of this mono white life gain deck. Thanks for watching guys.